You clicked on Team Pink, and I really need your guys' votes. And remember, you have to like this video, because that's the only way we'll see your vote. And I'm going to win this with whatever it takes. I am willing to do everything it takes. Hey guys, welcome to week two. I am so excited. Last week was super intense, and this week is going to be even better. You guys, Team Pink is doing so well. Last week we won sponsor, and uh, I have a feeling that we might get it again this week. All last week was crazy. Our Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, they were blowing up with just everyone's comments and their cheers. I saw so many for Team Black, and that was really amazing. Thank you guys. Mm. Hey you guys, welcome to week two of the Hunger Games Backyard Edition. We are going to rock this game. I'm really excited for this week's challenge, Kangaroo Soccer. But I really hope I don't get paired up with Cole. So for Kangaroo Soccer, I'm really hoping I don't get paired up with Cole. I don't think I'd stand a very good chance against him since he actually played soccer. I'm hoping I don't get Cole because he actually really plays soccer. And I would not want to have to be up against that. Welcome to episode two of the Scory Backyard Hunger Games. The first two teams competing are Cole and Tyler. The object of this game is simple. Both players will try to kick a beach ball into their opponent's goal while wearing pajamas with their legs through the same pant leg, forcing them to hop like a kangaroo. So I'm kind of nervous that I got paired up with Cole, to be honest, but at the same time, you know, I don't know how good he's gonna do. I mean, he can't really move his legs that well, so it's not really the same as actual soccer. Maybe that'll help me, I don't know. <laughs> I get paired up with Tyler. Tyler, soccer, Please! Alright, so me against Cole. Do this. Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm so ready to take you on, Tyler. On your mark. Set. <laughs> Stop it. Be serious. Hand ball! How the fuck? No, so I missed out on the first point, but there's still two left that I can possibly get, so I'm definitely not giving up yet. Yes! One point for Team Black. That was as easy as taking candy from a baby. I might have done that to Eden when she was a baby. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I had the shot all set up and ready to go, and right when I went to kick, I kind of forgot that my legs were stuck together, and I missed it. So as we were playing, I noticed that our dog Arlo left a little present on the field. And when I mean present, I mean poop. Did you poop on the soccer field, Arlo? Hmm. Did you? You know what I think? I think Eden trained Arlo to sabotage the game. Good boy, you was good boy. That's a good boy. You missed some right here. There was some dog poop on the field, so yeah. I think Cole was kind of nervous by the end because he was a mess. He was tripping all over the place. His pants were down on the ground. It was actually kind of hysterical. 
Oh, that counts as a goal. That is a goal. Two, one. Uh, last point is mine. I got one point. Yeah, that last round wasn't uh, my best round. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see that Cole has pulled himself into the lead with three points. Tied up close behind with two. So I got paired up with Gabriella, and honestly, I think that's the best way for me to get points, but however, I am a little scared of her. She is going down. I'm going to crush her like a little bug. <laughs> Team Unicorn! <laughs> I should really have On your mark. Kangaroo soccer was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I understood that we were going to have to be hopping, but having your feet constructed like that really made it difficult. No, no. I'm coming over there. That's the Good boy. One point for me. Goal! Yes! Set, go, skin. Go get a Sorry. Eden was actually a lot better than I thought she was gonna be. But not as good as me! Team Blue for the win! I got nothing! Nothing! <laughs> nothing. <laughs> No! 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 Eden! Eden, what are your thoughts? What do you, how do you feel you just scored a point against your sister? I'm full her! No! I'm a champion, my friend. Like, can you be a Okay, that's a little harsh. <laughs> Just kidding. Back at the scoreboard, we see that Gabriella pulls herself ahead with two extra points. Eden earns herself one point from this game. After the commercial break, we'll find out your sponsor for this week. Plus, some controversy in the voting results. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. I really hope we got enough points this week to be sponsored. I would love you guys so much if we got two weeks in a row. It's time for sponsors, you guys. I really hope you managed to pull enough votes so I win this week. Let's take a look at who you guys voted as your sponsor for this week. I'll let you know the voting was neck and neck. And the winner... Oh, dear. So, apparently, the votes were turned up. Off last week. I'm so mad at Cole. Everyone thinks it was just Eden's video that was turned off, but my video was too. This is all part of her plan. He's that big of a sore loser because he didn't get sponsorship. Wow, that's just love. She's thinking that if she turned off her votes, you guys would think that her votes are turned off by me, but on reality, my votes are turned off by her. Last week, somehow the voting got turned off on both Cole and Eden's videos. However, we were still able to come to a winner. Congratulations, Team Pink. Yes! I won two weeks in a row, guys! Two weeks in a row! I love you guys so much, and it would mean the world to me if we got three weeks in a row, so just tell your friends what you did last week. Everything was perfect. I was gonna put this in my face if I won sponsorship, but now I have a different idea. I would, uh, uh, I would. She deserved that. So, funny story guys. It might have been me who turned off the voting. <laughs> I was on YouTube and I thought I was gonna hide the number of likes that people had, but they could still like, but instead I accidentally turned it off. I don't believe for one second that this was an accident. No, Tyler is clearly trying to get me and Cole worked up against each other. Sponsor me. Sponsor me! <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no way Tyler did this on accident. 
Sponsor me! Sponsor me! Sponsor me! Smart move, Tyler, but not smart enough. He's a liar, he's a cheater, and he's going down next week. Sponsor me, guys, please. I just want a spot in the sponsor spotlight. Ones. You know what? He has awoken the inner honey badger sleeping within me. Can you have like fire coming out of my mouth during that part? No. And Tyler, I have my eyes on you. So watch your every step. After winning sponsorship, Eden pushes herself into a three-way tie with Gabrielle and Cole, leaving Tyler behind with two points. Who do you want to see move on next week as the sponsor? Make sure to click on your favorite tribute. If you're on a mobile device, use the links down below. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the Backyard Hunger Games episode this week. And the biggest thing you could do for us if you really like this episode is make sure you thumbs it up and share it with all your friends. So last week we asked you guys how many things of nail polish are in Eden's jar. The correct number of nail polish bottles is... 74. The four people that got it the closest and the fastest are... With the exact number of 74 we have... Mr. Geek Sheet. Coming in second with 74, we have a Mini Crafter 01. Next, we got XX as Killer XX with 73. Last, we have Mr. Master Manuel with 75. Congrats and give yourself a round of applause. You guys did great with guessing how many balls of nail polish there are. This week's challenge, we want you guys to leave your funniest comment of the caption for this picture. We're gonna read every single comment and pick four of them that make us laugh the hardest next week. So, get you it. Bye, guys. I'm sorry, Zane! Oh. You saw how quickly I did the pool challenge with the shaving cream. What? That took you forever. Uh, be quiet! This is my interview!